Hey guys, it's Aiden here. Um, today, I'm gonna be doing my first review, and the stick I'm gonna be reviewing today is the STX Stallion HPR2. And the reason why I chose this stick is because it's very affordable, it cost me 110 bucks with tax. Um, and with the cost of living going up all the time and hockey becoming increasingly less affordable, I thought it'd be a great idea to review some sticks that keep the game affordable and allow more people to play the game. Um, so this stick will be the first stick in a series of videos where I review the best sticks under $200 to help find more affordable sticks for everyone. Um, but for today's video, I'm gonna do some stationary shooting, I'll shoot in stride, and then I'll do some like toe drag release kind of stuff. Um, and then eventually I'll probably bring a radar gun out here and do a road to 100 mile an hour shot. So that should be fun. But for now, let's go get set up and start shooting. First shots with the stick. Uh, it's mid kick and should be okay uh, for snapshots, but more for slap shots. Let's see what it does. I'm just gonna take some, some more stationary shots, a lot more curl and drag stuff. I'm gonna throw in some slab shots and uh, we'll see how it feels. It's a little bit lighter of a flex for me. I'm using 85 and pretty big guy, so usually I use 95 or 100. So hopefully it doesn't get bullied too much when I try to do a slab shot. Uh, but it feels really nice. And I'm, I'm really happy that they're able to put out really good products at the price point they are. So let's get this going. That felt really good, and for $110, I think it would be very hard pressed to find a better stick. Um, the release felt really good, popped up the stick really well, um, and I think with time, I'll be able to develop more accuracy, because I haven't used this curve in like five years, but so far so good, so we'll move into shooting on the fly. I promised my brother I wouldn't break his tripod, so let's get that set up again. <laughs> there we go. So far, the release feels really easy.
really nice. As I was recording my outro, my phone ran out of storage space, so I couldn't film my final thoughts. I'm just going to voice over the last few clips. Um, overall, for $120, I think you're going to be hard pressed to find a better performing stick. Uh, it responds really well on quick shots. It, I will say it struggles a bit on slap shots, which is surprising considering it's a mid kick. But most players nowadays don't really take slap shots, so it won't matter too much. And it's really good on wrist shots, so I wouldn't worry too much. Um, and again, you can buy four of these for the same price as a Proto R or an FT Ghost or a Supernovium. So I can't speak to the durability, but the fact that you can buy four of them for the price of one of those, which have durability issues, I think you're okay. And maybe in the long run, I'll, I'll make an update on after a few months of use. So, but overall, it's a great stick, and it's a shame that it's kind of slept on. But yeah, uh, next video, I'll I'll be comparing two sticks that have a low kick point. And they cost me 160 bucks each. So we'll see how how they go. We'll see you next time.